Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Janice. And if you're new here, hi. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate if you go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you will be notified when my next video is up. Also, comment about this video. What did you like about it or what didn't you like about it? Today I'm going to do a review on Tati Beauty's new Blendiful. It's a puff. Makeup puff. Also, after you comment, I'd love to have you share. Oh, don't forget to like this video. That's so important, okay? Please stay tuned. I, she said in her video that if you had hydrating primary minds, go ahead and just put it with your fingers because this wouldn't make any difference. But if you use poor refining primer, to go ahead and use the puff. So I use both kind of primers. I use the hydrating first in the areas that I want, and then I use the pore. Mainly use pore filling primer because of my texture. Actually, I don't have texture. I have wrinkles, okay? It's not really texture. I call it texture. Sounds better. So, but that's why I use the pore refining primer. So today, I'm going to, I mean, show you what I used for the hydrating. It's called No Porbum Prime Essence by Touch and Soul. Okay, that's what I used already. And now I'm gonna use the No Porbum Primer Touch and Soul, a smooth pore covering. Both of these I got in my BoxyCharm Beauty subscription. And don't mind the mess. I'm going to break this down and paint my beauty room, but I wanted to put up this video because this just came out and I just want to put my opinion in. Okay. Just a little history, the kind of puffs I've been using all along. I've been using a sponge puff. It's a little dirty there. I use that a lot for my foundation. I really like it. I also use the Beauty Blender. This Beauty Blender. Uh, it's I washed it once already, and I only used it once. But you know these these look dirty, even though they're clean. And I also use sometimes, not always. I use the Cody Air Spun. And then I always use this puff to pat it on. So you can see through those puffs. Oh, did I show you the Laura Mercier? I'm sorry. Now, this reminds me of the Laura Mercier. You can see how it has a little thingy on the Laura Mercier. And unfortunately, this is it's not really dirty, it's just got powder on it. So this reminds me a lot of that from looking at I can't really see a difference. It feels, this feels a little firmer, not much. And if I compare it to this, um, feels about the same, but I think Tati's little um, fibers here are a little longer than the more, lower Mercier. And on her other one, it's hard to tell. <laughs> very similar. I mean, there's a difference, but very slight. But so anyway, just wanted to show you that. So the puff isn't new to this industry, the beauty industry. I've used the puff for many, 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 many years. I'm 69 years old, and I used the puff before I knew of brushes. So this is, only thing is, you know, I, I just use it for powder. But we're gonna try it with liquid. I'm kinda scared to do that. Ooh. Uh oh. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff on my desk here. And let's do the no pour them. Okay, how do we do this now? Hmm. <sighs> Don't remember how she did it. I like doing this with my fingers. I'm sorry. But we're gonna go ahead and just start it with my fingers. 
you know, I usually just put it in the places where I need a little bit smoothest. Forehead, here, my mouth, my chin, and just, you know, I don't really have that much wrinkles on my skin, but I got some over here from the sun damage from, I guess, driving a car. Back in the day, we rolled our windows down. Okay, I don't want to open it. So we're going to take this and go ahead and buff this in. And let's see here. Turn on my mirror, trusty mirror here, and I'll try to stay in frame. Hard to stay in frame when you're looking at a mirror. I've been learning how to position myself. I'm just touching it to see how it feels. It feels nice. Really, it does. Never thought to use a puffer primer. Never, ever. So that's a nice trick. Let me try my... This is a 10X. Let me try it less. A normal mirror. Just so I can see the whole thing. And go to my 5X. There. I'd have a normal mirror, a 5X, a 10X when I put my makeup on. <laughs> it looks nice. I mean, it's hard to really see primer, but it does look nice and it feels good. So next, what am I going to do? Oh yeah, i got a couple concealers. A new one from ColourPop. It's their hydrating one. Pretty fresh. And I got this in my boxy charm. It's what is this? Oh. It's called Pretty Vulgar. Now this is darker. I don't know if this is a lightest shade or what, but I'm gonna to try to hide my dark circles with this. Alright. Here we go. dark on me. That's why I'm doing it before my foundation. I, I never tried this yet. This is just an experiment. Normally I don't do this unless I use a color corrector. But I'm trying a lot of new things today. And now I got this to help me. Don't know yet. Now foundation. Today I'm using Physicians Formula, the healthy foundation. Really, really like this, especially when my face is so dry. This is a drugstore one, but I do love it. I'm surprised that it really soak up much foundation. I've, I've watched some videos and they said it did, but foundation. Oh yeah, you can fold it and it's quite large. It's, I have a big face so I go like that. <laughs> I'm using a lot like I use my brushes. Almost looks airbrush, like I don't even see my foundation. But yet I, I think I look better. I've been losing a lot of weight, so when you lose weight, I lose it first in my face. Darn it! That's why my neck is really saggy now. 
<clears throat> and um, now my face is starting to sink in because there's no more fat to fill those wrinkles out. You damn if you do, you damn if you don't. You know what I mean? This folds really nice. You can get into small parts. <laughs> That's where I miss my foundation the most, is right in the little flaps of my nose. I really like this first impression. Okay, next, I'm gonna use some contour. I'm gonna use my Fenty contour stick. Here we go. She says the press in and blend out. Geller because I haven't used it yet. So I try it. I think it, yeah, it's a little lighter than Fenty. See? So yeah, we'll, we'll try it. I really like this. I'm gonna use the Hourglass Ambient Ghost Palette. I'm gonna use another edge though. I'm not gonna use that edge. I'm gonna use a, see these two here are setting powders, okay? So I'm gonna use the whiter one right underneath my eyes. And then the other one, the other areas of my face. I don't bake. You know, I, I don't need to add more layers to my wrinkly skin. I'm just patting this on. Because that's how I would do my makeup. Now with a brush, I would just, you know, use it lightly. So it's kind of what I'm doing with this. We use the bronzer, and that is right here. Right here. And I'm going to take the opposite side and dip into that. Blush. These two colors are blush. And I'm just going to mix the two up. That is it. First impressions. I actually adore this. I oh, really, really like it. I'm going to order more because that way I can use one for liquid and then one for dry. So I'm going to order another one and maybe in the future a couple more. I don't know how long they're going to last, but she said they're washable. You put them in a lingerie bag or hand wash them, and they're, they dry quickly. You can use a hair dryer to speed it up or let it dry overnight. Now this particular little puff is like for touch-ups during the day. I normally don't do that because I do not have oily skin. So I will find a use for this though. I put it in my little makeup bag just in case I do have to touch up on the go because I do carry a little compact powder. That is my first impressions of the new Tati Beauty Blendiful Puffs. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you will be notified when my next video is up. Also, like this video, 
comment on this video. What do you think about these beauty puffs? Do you think they're kind of cool? You should reinvent, introduce them. I mean, we, I've used them in the background, but she re reintroduced them if I could talk. <laughs> um, oh yeah, share this video. I would really appreciate that. And I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day. Luis, I will see you real soon. Bye.